Okay. Good evening, Internet. This is I, Dr. Sun, here to bring you some more games to the land of the rising sun. If you're wondering why I'm doing a second intro, it's because I was streaming this for the last 45 minutes on the Round 2 channel. <sighs> I really should just start switching the profile back when I'm, we're done recording, and that's just something I need to get in the habit of doing, because... I am... Yeah. Because obviously doing it afterwards is not going to work. And by afterwards, I mean, like, you know, just the next time I want to stream here. So, welcome to Roke. Uh, I did the rest of the Earth mission on the other channel. I'll, uh... Go through the process of getting that moved. It'll be complicated. Uh, I need to get the YouTube channel updated, which I'll try to do uh, tomorrow. Provided I don't have any work, I shouldn't. It should still be pretty slow, but... Okay, so we're going to go open that treasure chest. Let's do it. Okay, we got a recipe. Oh, and I guess we got Miracle. We could have tried to make new things in Welch's shop, but the way things flowed didn't really uh, occur to me. We can use this. Okay, we're headed for the pink exclamation point. Let's go. Now we're trying to have medieval sound in battle theme, it looks like. Medieval setting, very common for uh, Star Ocean. Star Ocean 2 was quite fond of theirs. Also was in a fair portion of Star Ocean 3. Probably my favorite part of the series is it melds the two. There we go. Okay, that wasn't... She still has the thing around her neck. So, not weird at all. Level up. Miracle earned 10 consecutive board bonuses. Cool. So yes, unless the last hope added a feature to change the on-screen character, we're stuck with Edge. I didn't want to be walking around with him as he's being a mopey little jerk. Common impact, although cool, is not very good, it looks like. There we go. Ow. Let's roll out of the way here. Randy got it. Wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's safe. A unicorn wolf. Looked like some fucked up squirrel to me. Whatever. We're already halfway there. Okay, Bacchus can mine. Should be the first time you can see this. <laughs> Let's 
Wibble. Okay. Whoa, a tail, a tail. He's got a tail and ears just like yours, Mary. Morpheus data does indeed indicate that most of the inhabitants of Rook are tailed. Now that you mention it, that other person has a tail as well. So, do you think this is Mary's home planet? The probability would seem high. Isn't that great, Mary? Mary? Hmm. I don't know. Huh? Well, it does smell kind of like where I was born, but there's also something different about it. Could it be an issue with the comp composition of the atmosphere? It's just a small difference. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going looking around for a while. It's okay if... Is it okay if I stay with you guys? Yes, of course it is. We'll go together, okay? <laughs> Thanks. That makes me happy. So, what should we do now? Well, why don't we see if we can find some sort of settlement? I'd like to see what, what the level of civilization is here. Kind of flubbing a bit here. I have to do three different female voices and not sound like a total uh, piece of crap when I'm doing it. So, hooray! Of course, undue contact interference is not permitted under any circumstance. Nor may we reveal our origins. Oh, nor may we reveal our origins. There wasn't a comma there. It was a new sentence. Probably should have been a semicolon. Anyways. I'm asking you all to operate within the bounds of common sense. You know, Edge, like you didn't do on that last mission and now you're beating yourself up over it. Patiently waiting, girl. Planning to take a ship to land across the sea. Oh, to the land across the sea, but I'm waiting for my friend to arrive first. Where is she? Hope she comes back soon. Okay. But yeah, see, this is probably her home planet in another dimension, guys. Wow, oh, there's just Basil just sitting there. Alright, so we want to go this way. Honestly, they should just let me hold this button down. Okay, let's, uh, have Rainy take care of these. We can use this. Please, yeah, please wait for a minute, Mr. Lizard Guy. Well, that's not gonna end well. Rainy's in the party, though, so it's impossible to get surprised. Oh! Well, okay. Attack distance Ha-ha! I, common impact is cool, but it's for getting a good hit at it on a boss, not for everyday use. Then let's do that. I'll try to buy her a chain combo manual when we're in uh, town, because there should be a town coming up. Oh yeah, there's just basil everywhere, huh? Wait, what? I 
Alright. It's apparently marked that way because he can jump it. Well, that was an ambush. That's much better. For that's for rather an anticlimactic affair. Bacchus, we gotta try to get more than eighty percent. Come on, man. Obtain 3,000 full. Cool. Well, I am now very much in the position of I have no idea where I'm going. Uh. What the hell? For that, rather an anticlimactic affair. Great. Great. Okay, so I was right. Yeah, that bridge is where we need to go, but can't get up there from here. Now, all right, fought enemies going that way from getting lost. We're going to go this way. Oh, now we need to mine that thing when we're done with this cutscene. Oh, it's What's a creature that? of some flavor. It is a lady riding a bunny thing. It's a big, huge rabbit? I'm kind of surprised she used so rabbit. Round and meaty. Didn't it look yummy? It must be easy for it to navigate these mountains. I'm envious. Don't you think so too, Ed? Oh, I don't care. Sure. Whatever. Let's get moving. Rabby, wait up, kid. That's better. Hold on! I just want one teensy weensy fight! Now we have two kids to worry Rich? about. Going for about an hour. It's like I'm just detouring for the chest. This probably doesn't even have anything that good in it.
Uh oh. A heart beam? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, that was good timing. Kill it, nobody kill it, nobody kill it. Bacchus, why? For battle, rather an anticlimactic affair. Why, Bacchus? Why must you hate me? Those aren't worth fighting. Because <laughs> we got 9,000 full from that, because most of that's our money. This feels pretty good, Kate. Level 31, Miracle. Prevent any from escape from battle. Recover stolen full. Nice. Okay, I see a town. If Little runs out of magic, watch we'll put face in. Albero the animal. It's like Latin. Twenty-nine. 
Ugh. Goodness. Get to mining, Marcus. Please step back. Experience does not merely come from battle. Oh, all right, box 31. <sighs> Sorry, just making my, just thinking out my next move here. We're all running low on resources, so, and like I said, Fighting thieves isn't worth it. We must make the most Cobalts! Bonus off that. For a battle, rather an anticlimactic affair. Miracle land 20 consecutive hits unassisted. We can use this. Let's hope so. We got the thing. Okay, so we're gonna go over <laughs> aesthetic show. Mine some more metal, which is important for the good crafting weapons and armor. Okay, see, we're almost there. Okay, I don't know how we got out of that. Randy's out of the party, so he got surprised. Got to be kidding me. Exactly 777 points of damage. Okay. I am sorry, but those luck based ones are stupid. There you are. We can use this. Okay, let me look at the status here. 
Alright, yep. Faye's made out of an eel from previous encounters, so... I'm gonna put her in for Bacchus because they fight very similarly. that here pretty soon, but we need somebody on the party that can still fight. Bunny feed. Edge learned cure condition. We're gonna go grab that treasure chest and we're gonna head into town. Side city walls. All right, looks like we made it. Q song. Not this one. Another one. Chanting. So they may or may not smack their head into something. What a strange manner of dress. Search your face. The townspeople seem to be ignoring them. Who cares? They don't have anything to do with us. True. I'm not going to be worried about anything anymore because I don't want to cause any problems that I have to deal with uh, morally or emotionally. Okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Be careful. Oh wait, you do care about something. For five seconds. I'd better stay sharp. She's injured from that interrogation on the alternate earth. Welcome to Tactroid. I don't know if we're ever gonna get a pronunciation, so there's my attempt at it. Okay. Tools are us. Yeah, I am gonna buy healing items, how did you know? Wow. Seriously? All 
Everything he needs is okay. Everything I need is right here. The black cat material shop. The home spun in. First floor. Checking for treasure chests. Okay, we're good. Uh, she's Catherine. Famous hostess, or so she says. <laughs> okay. And we can call her Kathy. It's like, yeah, Ra Rainy needs to rest. Just after sitting down in this for a while, I'm feeling a lot better. So, okay, I was trying to get to shops that actually let me do something, but you know, cutscene's fine. Uh, what was that? It sounded like someone said, "Ah!" Uh, was it a scream? <laughs> hmm. For a scream, I'd say it lacked a sense of urgency. Oh dear! Oh dear! Please stop! Somebody save me! Surround sound and okay. Well, I've verified wow. that the source of the voice is located up ahead. I'm detecting a number of life signs in its vicinity. I forgot. I knew it was a screen view. Edge. I don't care. Regardless of the situation, we can't ignore a cry for help. But I. If I can't take I... responsibility for that, it could cause an emotional or moral situation. Somebody, please. Unhand that me. woman. I would have fixed the party if I knew we were going into combat. What cowards? I did not think we were getting her this early. Damn it all! I agree! <laughs> this woman's interesting, to say the least. I'm not... I'm not supposed to be doing this. What? Damn it! Get out of here. I'm telling you to get lost! Just go! Otherwise, he might hurt you. Badly. Are you sure it was best to let them go? Should we not have at least turned them over to the authorities on this planet? What the hell am I doing? No contact. No interference. That's what I swore. Edge. If someone asks for help, you help. That's just the way you are, okay? And that girl is so, clearly an alien. Why do you look like you want to cry, Edgy? You haven't done anything bad. You know, if only Edge could think as simply as you, Limmel. Hmm. Are you making fun of me? Not really. Oh dear! Whatever am I doing? Me and my manners. I haven't even thanked you for rescuing me yet. My name is Sarah Durand. I appreciate your help. They... They moved. Those are real wings. Oh, chicken. <laughs> so yummy. Human chicken. No, no, no. I can assure you, I'm not chicken, nor am I yummy. I will admit the character in this character is a bit odd. 
I see. So you're all on a journey together. Well, I must say, I'm so fortunate you came to my aid. I'm just assuming this doesn't translate well, kind of like the scream. Please, just stop. Pardon? I didn't have any intention of saving you. I didn't mean to get I'm going to complain about emotional and moral well, obligations again. Is that I was rescued, right? I really, truly must give you my thanks. Oh? 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 Hmm. Uh, is there something on my face? My, my, my. I've just remembered. Hooray. You remembered? What did you remember? Yes. Raimi and Edge, did you say? I was just thinking that I'd seen your faces somewhere before. Then I remembered. It was at the Purgatory. Bum, bum, bum. Well, now. This sounds interesting indeed. Yes. The Purgatorium is located in the northwest of this continent. It's the most historic structure there is. Oh my! Are you a giant? What a large man you are! <laughs> okay, yeah. <coughs> Blast. I remember her starting out annoying for me and possibly getting better. Good Blast! Hands. The giant suddenly disappeared. He does that. You're a little slow on the uptake. Both of you. So, what did you mean when you said you've seen us before? The stone statues in the purgatory. You know, ancient religious iconography. They're statues of the Mu'a, you see. But they look very much like you. Mu'a? Some say the Mu'a are our ancestors. But now they're like ghosts. Nobody even knows if they exist anymore. Wee you can't tell the history of this land without mentioning the Mu'a. There's even an entire continent named after them. Next week on Ancient Aliens. Mu'a. Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. Cardianon. Uh, I believe it was the Cardianon who referred to Edge and Raimi as descendants of the Mu'a. Yeah. If the Mu'a and Earthlings are somehow connected, do you think Roke might be involved as well? I see. Yes, that would seem to be a possibility. If that is the case, we may be able to get closer to the origins of both Earth I'm not really here, so I get parenthesis. Yes, just thinking about it gets the blood racing. Baze, you kind of look like Eddie right now. How about it? I think it'd be worth our while to investigate this purgatory. Doesn't have anything to do with us. I don't Edge? care. Raimi? Yes, you're right. I suppose I'll have to face it eventually. So, are you all planning to go to the Purgatorium? If so, I'd like to accompany you on your journey. Might as well, that way you don't get kidnapped by cat ninjas you again. Me. Won't you let me repay you by acting as your guide? <laughs> oh, are you gonna come with us, Sari? Yay! If the chicken, I mean Sarah, <laughs> is coming, then count me in too! <sighs> oh my, Lim seems very nice, but Mary, you're a tad scary. Well, how Mary about it? Scary. It sure would be helpful to have a local to guide us. Yes, that's definitely true. Forget it! We can't travel with anyone from this planet. Absolutely not. All right, and what's with Lemel? Right now, I may not be in command, but that is one thing I will not allow. Edge. We don't intend to have any more contact with you people. So, if you're done here, please just go away. Get him. Edge, don't you think you're being too hard on her? <clears throat> Whatever our initial reasons, it is we who made first contact. And Sarah is clearly motivated only by kindness. No, no, don't concern yourself with me. But please, do allow me to be a busybody about one thing. Sure. If you don't ride a bunny, there's no way you can get to the Purgatorium. A bunny? Are you serious? Some nomads are camping outside the town right now. Why don't you go see them about the bunnies? 
Maybe they can help you. Very well. Take care of yourselves. Yeah, you know, we gone for another 30 minutes or so, so we'll see what we can get done here. But yeah, she seems a heck of a lot less native here than the cat people. Let's go. And the first officer here should probably tell uh, Dom Dom here that you know, um, uh, you know, you're not in command. Stop being a jackass. Come to think of it, remember that tent we saw outside town? Do you think it belonged to the nomads Sarah mentioned? Yeah, you might be right. I suppose we should take a look. Try this shop. Ruby Foods. Pita. Alright, we can do that. Look at that, Edge. I just completed a request from something. You know, we just interfered on this planet. Get pissy. Night Obsessed Shopkeeper. We're, okay, we're in Ed's weapons. I'm assuming this is Ed. So I have a blessed sword. Okay. Give me a bastard sword. Scale armor. Oh, right, lucky. America level. Let's uh, get a uh, emo bitch here out of the party. Is that who I want? No, 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 no. There we go. Arcus. Need Miracle to hit 30. Sword and the chainmail was for face. Yeah, there I can over. Oh, I had one. God damn it. Okay, we need to make sure we don't do that again. Okay, so everybody's gear is pretty good. I believe one of them is using a just a pretty basic protector that I crafted, but it seems to be better than the others, so. Right, we're gonna head further down? No, further up, because we're trying to find an item shop that's an actual damn item shop. Cheerful girl. She says meow. She 
can have those, but I use these to heal the party. Oh, it's crafting material. I'm gonna grab some. Suspicious psychokineticist. Ah, you can use the magic power. I was just saying, I may need to fly back to an old planet to get my rings fixed. Yeah, charge them all. That's expensive, but you want to make sure you have those ready to go, otherwise there's items you're not going to be able to get. Love song accessories. Oh, that is... Okay, that... Hmm. Optical illusions. Let's see if they have anything better for Miracle since she's gonna be in for a little while. Expensive, but we at least need to buy chain combos for. I'm gonna dart her back around here first. Awesome. Put that treasure chest right after an area where you can restock. Good idea. Twin books. Brother. What? Brother hasn't been back home in ages. Need that. Sure that wasn't something more useful. I don't know. That could have gone a lot worse. Alright, so we're gonna teach miracle chain combos. And teach Limel how to hide. Particular should set them up for this. Uh, for that, we'll go into an acrobatic vault. There we go. Now, 
we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get her first aid. Oh, I see, I see. She should get more CP as she levels up, so that's fine. Okay, crafting is what she's good at. I see. Yep, her and Edge, I have to keep uh, decidedly more battle focused. Easier to keep the party leveled up that way. Okay, this should be the game's Colosseum. I'm just headed up here to grab that treasure chest. Should have used my Earth Ring from here before I got it recharged. Ah! I don't even have the right ring. Okay, we're gonna head to the tent. We got about... 20 minutes left. So if you're looking for the archive for this, it's I'm gonna have to edit it tomorrow, so it's gonna be a little while before it gets available. I'll get everything else posted onto my channel before that. So, you know, any back videos that I need to get off my butt and get up there. Well, here we are. Time to find out about these Need bunnies. to see a man about a bunny. Yeah, she said ride, so I assume they must be pretty big. You already saw him, Rainy. Stop I being know, I dense. know. Bunnies. They're fluffy and round and yummy looking. <laughs> fluffy? <laughs> Wait, you mean like that pink thing we saw in the mountains? Yep, that was a bunny. No response. <laughs> I swear, I always try to cut a work like that. Ah, oh, hello, travelers. I take it. Is there something I can? Yeah, hey, what's on the chat for? Don't you finish this up already? That's right. This is why buddies keep escaping on us. Yeah, yeah, I understand. By the way, travelers, just want to ask me something. What's about bunnies? Bunnies, you say? In that case, why did you ask the elder? It should be in front of the tent. Look at dry side is covered in black fog, none for none of my fairy tales either. Happened to me once. Da -da -da. Just stocked up on that, dude. Just stocked up on that. Oh, so I couldn't talk to Flyman until another random schmuck told me to bother this guy? Come on. Um, excuse me? Do you think you could tell us about bunnies? Do you speak English? That's what I got out of that, but it's more if she's trying to wake him up, I think. 
Oh. I have no idea what he's saying, Kate. Mary? Miracle, can you make it out? If this is your home planet, it's possible that... No, I can't understand a word. My Morphous translator is of no use either. This language structure must be quite ancient indeed. I guess we're stuck. Visitors? Ah, it's the lady we saw on the bunny oh, earlier. It's you people. Indeed, it would be us people. Or that girl from Yes, you all wear such unusual clothes. I remember you. Well, like we, you know, maybe we should have tried to, you know, blend in, maybe. Not like we don't have a non-interference pact or something. I'm sorry. My grandfather can only speak the ancient tongue. Goodness. But I can translate. So feel free to ask anything you like. Well, we're trying to get to the Purgatorium. Someone we met in town told us we had to ride on a bunny to get there. Nonale da hos Bosla. Sing. I'm assuming Bosla is a bunny. Astra da Bosla. He said bunny right early on. The only way to cross the desert of quicksands is astride a bunny. That's all we need to do. So can we have one? I won't eat it. <laughs> eat it? Of course you won't eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't let you have our bunny. Kenny tells her to get one. Why not? We consider him to be an important member of the family. He's been with us since he was a baby, after all. You can't just go handing your family over to strangers, can you? Of course not. I hope you can forgive us for making such a flippant request. You know, I have to play Edge right now, because Edge is one, fucking you? useless. Don't worry. My grandfather isn't angry, and neither am I. I'm glad. But what are we supposed to do now? Sorry about that. Hmm. How about trying to capture a field bunny? Uh, sure, how do we do field that? Bunny? We're not from around we have here. bunnies that live in the forests near here. If you can catch one, you'll have your very own mount. Is that even possible? Yes, of course it is. Even mine was a field bunny once, you know. Here, let me show Perfect. you. Perfect. Well, that's symbology. Oh my goodness. Everyone, this is my bunny. Usually I let him run free in the wild. I only call him when he's needed. He's the first bunny I caught as a child, and he's still a very it's important bunny. So to me. pink. All right, now run along and play for a while. I would hope she could call her if somebody else like tries to catch it or something. Not quite, Miss Ramey. This is somewhat different. Hmm? Did you just hear a voice? Uh, um, well, you see, Ramey, summoning is actually a sort of contract, so to speak. Bacchus. A contract? Only a few particular beings from other worlds can become subject to those contracts. Limel could only summon one specific creature, right? Now that you mention it, it is always Cerberus. The power she just used isn't summoning. It's more like transference. She can freely move any object she wants to another location. Take warp travel. By compressing space, you can reduce the time it takes to travel a certain distance. But as that distance grows, so does the time it takes to cover it. Face, no! You can't start talking about war, but... That is not how transference works. Transference breaks down the actual data of a physical object, then reconstructs it at any desired location. In other words, the transfer of matter can be accomplished in the blink of an eye, nearly instantaneously. Even we Eldarians haven't managed to achieve that. However, it's much more difficult coordinating transfers for small objects than it is for more massive ones. Considering all that, achieving transference with just a single symbol is astonishing. That's really the only way I can put it. Hooray. <laughs> I've never seen anyone get so excited about this technique before. We don't have it from where we're from. Can all of you use this ability? The technique has been passed down through the ages among our tribe. And it's our duty to continue to do cool. so. Cool! Is there a particular reason for that? I'm afraid nobody really knows. 
Nobody? Eh. No. All I can say is that our people have always been called the Openers, and that this technique has been with us for generations. The Openers? You say? Nobody remembers why we bear the name. Not even my grandfather and the other elders. Hmm. What's this? Reins for riding a bunny. As long as you have these, you shouldn't have any problem taming one. Perfect. What do we owe you? Can we really accept something so precious from you? Of course. All we have to do is make another. This will be a huge help. Thank you so much. So, with regards to the transfer technique... I'm sorry. I'm afraid we can't teach it to outsiders. But if you were to join our tribe... <laughs> I'll certainly give the matter consideration. <laughs> Face, it was a joke. Come on, buddy. Well then, we'll be going now. Thank you so much for all your help. And, and Edge, bye bye. if something like warp travel comes up in conversation, in that case, we can just be like, oh. Uh, wait a moment. Would that's you? a symbol we yes. use from where we're from. It doesn't really allow us to do this. This is one of the cloaks the members of your tribe wear. <laughs> as long as you have it on, the field bunny shouldn't be as wary of you. I think this particular cloak would fit you best. I wish there were enough for all of you, but right now this is the only one we have. She's hitting on you! Are you certain? Not just the reins, but this cloak as well. We receive the benefit of much goodwill on our travels. The least we can do is repay those favors, don't you think? That's a splendid way of thinking. It would be disrespectful to refuse such an This honor. is the last time FaZe is cool. How is it? Well, I can't say it's very flattering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What took so long, FaZe? I was getting a thing. What's that weird thing you're wearing? It was a gift. They were such a rustic and friendly people. I think that heartburn took a little more out of me than I'd like. That and I was up till, uh... Oof. You look Basically, really bad. Basically, 5 a.m. recording around 2 stuff. <laughs> the girl told me the same thing. Obtained bunny reins. Didn't exactly, yeah, didn't actually obtain, uh, you know, cloak. The forest near here that girl was talking about, do you suppose she meant that place across the bridge? Yeah, probably. Besides, now that I know what bunnies smell like, I bet I can figure it out. This one reliable knows you got there, Mary. Hmm? Face, what's that you're wearing? This? The girl offered it to me. She said it should make the bunnies less wary of us. <laughs> I see. It looks good on you, Faze. I hope so. At any rate, let's try to go... Let's go try to catch a bunny. And we got time to catch a bunny? Yeah, we got time. I bet we'll find bunnies around these parts. Want to look around a bit? Search for bunnies. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna catch one, Kay. Big and meaty and round and yummy one. <laughs> Stop! Crabby. So fast. Switching to capture mode. Capture mode! Wait. <gasps> Down. Raimi? What's the matter, Raimi? Raimi! Well, Edge, you've been relieved of command. Oh my god, she still has the knife. Ray Ray? And are now you they're okay? gone. 
Ray Ray? Fucking Lady Tim. She's got like a terrible fever. What are we gonna do? Amy, don't tell me you've been sick all this time. Yeah, and you've been being a bitch. I'm fine. It's nothing serious. Bullshit. We need to get back to Tatroy. There should be a doctor there. Come on! We don't have a doctor on the ship? Oh, yeah, because we don't have a full crew. Uh, you, you know, no automated sick bay? Oh. Huh? Wa ha 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 ha. Okay, Angel Girl Sarah was dreaming about a uh, uh, horrible fire zombies in a wrecked town. Okay. That same dream again. Having it night after night certainly does take its oh, toll. Oh goodness. And she says that cherry. I wonder, is my neighbor having a nightmare too? Maybe you should go check. Your neighbor's probably being an emo little bitch because he wasn't doing his job, so now his friend's sick. <laughs> Remy. I'm so sorry. Huh? Please, forgive me. It's my fault. I'm sorry. So sorry. She's delirious. Remy, what are you saying? You don't have anything to apologize for. Maybe you should be apologizing. Please, don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. Ramy, hey. Please, Edge, try and take it easy. Ramy isn't apologizing to us. I imagine she's apologizing to something in her dream. Judging by her condition, she must be having a terrible nightmare. Hang in there, Raimi. We're here with you, okay? Ray Ray. Edge, something's wrong with But her. we're gonna need outside Ray interference to help. It's so hard. What? Boculus. Wait, don't tell me. Is it Boculus? I don't want Ray Ray to end up like Grandpa, okay? No, this isn't Boculus. This disease is endemic to Roke. Well, looks very similar, buddy. Endemic to Roke? Native. It is called stone sickness, and you can see why. It spreads from the extremities to the internal organs, eventually causing Dude, death. that's Boculus. How do you know so much about this? I went through quite a lot in my younger days. But there is no cause for concern. Stone sickness has a yes, a remedy. She'll be just fine if we give her. Who let Sarah in? Indeed, stone sickness was at one time an incurable disease, but a treatment does exist now. Let's go to Astral Castle via the canal barge. I'm sure we'll be able to find the remedy there. Oh, really? Wait, I'm suddenly not being a jackass to you? Huh? <laughs> You're Seriously? all really slow. What? What are you doing here? I'm staying in the next room over, you see. I wondered what was going on, so I came here, and what a wonderful room. She's going with this edge. You don't get to say no at this point. We don't know crap about this disease other than what Bacchus has in his... Ooh. Hmm. <gasps> it's already that bad? Oh dear, the symptoms are quite advanced. C can we cure her? Yes. It's just as I said before. If you have the remedy, she'll get better in no time. All right, let's go get it. I'm glad. I think she must be exhausted in both mind and body. She's so cute, but she pushes herself too far, doesn't she? Exhaustion? Raimi. Yeah, it's almost like she had to make up for the fact that somebody else was being a dummy. It's my fault yet again. Ha <laughs> ha! 
If only I had kept myself together, Raimi wouldn't have. If you've time to waste on regret, use it to act. Yes, instead. that. That right there. Huh? The only person that regret benefits is yourself. But if you act, others can benefit from your actions. Doesn't that sound good? I borrowed the saying from someone I respect. <laughs> Faze? If you feel responsible for what happened to Raimi, I believe now is the time to make a decision. Yeah. <sighs> As you need to assume command. Either that or Faze has to take charge. And I'm not saying you can't handle it, but seriously? Mm. Let's go then. To Astral Castle. Let's bring back the remedy we need to cure Raimi. Raimi left the party. Incapacitated. Well then, this phase is in. Just got her back. Now her XP curve is gonna be awful. Alright, well, I thought we were gonna catch a bunny. have a couple of minutes left to do anything. So we'll go ahead and end it here because this is a decent stopping point. Unlike Sweeping in 2, I can't just bull rush over to a save station. Not very easily anyways. And uh Yep. Unlike Kingdom Hearts, it's not very easy to just drop it and stop. So we'll go ahead and end everything for tonight. Know, maybe it'll be a bit easier on the heartburn as well. So, if you like what you've been watching, uh, do be sure to click the little purple follow heart in the upper right hand corner of the video. That'll let you know when Raimi and the crew are on uh, uh, more adventures or getting sick by native diseases that strongly resemble other native diseases. If you want to see their previous adventures or anything else I've been playing, do be sure to check out the Dr. Sun is in YouTube channel. If you want to see other things I've been streaming, including. Uh, things that I shouldn't, like uh, parts of Persona 5. Check out my other YouTube channel, Rising Sun Games. Uh, that's where I've got such material to protect myself from uh, DMCA strikes, like the one the channel just survived from Atlas over Persona 5, so yeah, really appreciate it. Check that out. Ah, yes. Sorry, if you want a heads up with the stream, like I kinda did today, check out the Dr. Sun Facebook page. The Dr. Sun is in Steam Group. If you are interested in other things that I do. I've got a website on Tumblr because it's free. That's uh, drsunisin.tumblr.com. That's uh, dr sun it is in.tumblr.com. I got fiction and fanfiction on there and hopefully clean it up and expand it to other content at some point. That should be everything. So, until next time, I'm Dr. Sun. I keep on playing those games from Land of the Rising Sun. Good night, everybody.